uh, you know, upcoming and fast growing, you know, sports clubs. Working from home, of course, she recorded something with regards to how Kenyan athletes, athletes, not Kenyan athletes, even global sportsmen have been coping up with this pandemic. Let's uh, join her working from home. Masi Sony. Was watching from home. Happy New Month and hope you're keeping safe back at home. Welcome to Fan Zone. My name is Marcy Sony, and in today's segment, I shall be giving you a little bit of insight of what our athletes have been doing to assist in the fight against the coronavirus. As we all know, the pandemic has wreaked havoc on the sporting calendar, and across the globe, people are also assisting within their communities and societies to be able to curb this pandemic. I don't know if you've heard of the All In Challenge. The All In Challenge is a challenge that started earlier in April 14th and was founded by an American billionaire known as Michael Rubin. And up to now, the challenge has managed to raise over $21 million. That's quite a huge a number of money. But remember, this challenge is inclusive or amazing collection of famous people that is inclusive of musicians and actors ranging from all the famous people, Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake and Oprah Winfrey. But citing on the athlete's part, we have various important athletes that have also accepted this challenge. And one of those challenge of those people are people like LeBron James, we also have Magic Johnson and for Magic Johnson of the auction items is that you alongside with 30 of your friends will be attending a dinner. Friends would also be sitting on I please it while you get to sit with him at the courtside watching the LA game. How awesome would that be? Well, also, he is not the only athlete who has come out to give such special gifts. We also have other important players such as Aaron Gordon. And for him, being a two-timer dunk contestant runners pro has managed to give out a trip to Orlando back and forth inclusive and catering of all other expenses that you will be enduring while you are on this trip and a ticket to Disney World and he is also trying to feed the homeless this looks like a very good that a very good thing that he's doing and moving on to our kings and let me say king and famous people and at least this is the only time that we are not trying to find out who is the goat and who is not the goat this thing looks like it has just relaxed everything because Lionel Messi and CR7 have come out to give 1 million euros that will be able to aid in the fighting against the coronavirus. Well, for Lionel Messi, his money is going to a Barcelona clinic that is directly helping to fight the people affected with the COVID-19. And at the same time, this clinic is helping in the researching of the virus. Well, for the... Juventus and also for the Juventus board that is Ronaldo, his, his donation alongside his agent that is Mendes, his money is going to Portuguese clinic that is in Lisbon and Porto to fight this pandemic. Leave alone the, the EPL, we also have other clubs within the EPL that are assisting to do this, that is Portsmouth and also Brighton. These guys have done a lot and they are giving 100,000 tickets that will be going forward to medical workers that are assisting in this fight so it feels it feels like this whole field is gonna be filled with medical workers how cool will that be i don't know how, what kind of an experience that would be but hey moving on in pakistan i remember in pakistan most of the people are living on daily wages well former captain of cricket that is shahid has come out to give donation this includes distributing out food and also giving out disinfectant soap so this guy is not only feeding the homeless but at the same time he's giving soap that will be able to fight the disease hence that's killing the bird with one stone and finally as we break off psg early this week 
has been crowned the number one league champion. Well, I think this will be a very happy lot for the because at this moment they are sweeping the league for the seventh time in eight years. So that's a very, very good thing. Well, I don't know how you feel about this. Do you think the EPL should and other Champions League, even including our own local teams, should come out and say that hey, we are taking this trend, we are taking this trend of crowd.